What's up Diablo 4 players? So we got the end game raid content. We got four content creators in the gameplay. Myself, we got Warlug, Lucky Luciano, and Darth Microtransactions. So it's going to be an awesome, awesome gameplay. Uh, keep in mind though, just as a heads up, this is my very first raid. In fact, we're still kind of learning how it works so expect to see some mistakes that's part of uh, learning any raid in any video game but i also want to go ahead and let you guys know just as a quick little heads up that there are three different raids and we're going to be dropping gameplay of all of them i'm going to separate these into individual raids as they are kind of lengthy so each individual video will maintain its own like name for it's the raid but uh, you guys will see everything you'll see the rewards and i also want to mention just as a heads up we were all on discord so uh we were all kind of just talking about like our thoughts on the game and stuff so there will be some moments where i may put like some meme sounds or just like mute it because we were talking about the campaign and we actually aren't allowed to talk about the campaign until it actually comes out over on the 7th but Obviously, this is early gameplay, and I've got all the raid content for you guys, and we'll be dropping video guides on how to actually do these, because some of these, more than likely, the very first time anyone does this, they're going to fail, because you have to, like, learn how it works, unless you watch a video guide. But we'll be dropping video guides on it very soon, but I'm going to let the whole entirety of the gameplay play out. Uh, just enjoy, man. It's cool. Sweet. It's because there wasn't a good source of vulnerability, so I went with Quill, and it seemed to be pretty good. Yeah. I would bet that... One of those two are going to be, by and far, the best builds of, like, the season. Not, not just Spiritborn, just, like, outperform basically every every other class. And I think Gorilla will be kind of tight once you get endgame, but... Well, um, Touch of Death uses, like, I need to go that way. Gorilla, Gorilla, basically. Or, like, Gorilla Jaguar. But if you're talking about, like, a pure Gorilla Thorns build, um, yeah, that's what I was thinking about trying out too for a late game. Yeah, to get I think Thor Thorns is also good. It's just not, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's performing as well as armor based oh. builds. So but do we need a uh, third person? Good option. Or is there like an item that we need? Well, we need the. Yeah, you open up the. Yeah, yeah, you open up the walls and they come out yeah, yeah. and you kill them and they pick up the thing. And then the next one you stand in the soul siphon. Did you guys play through the story? Did you guys like skip stuff? Oh, I, I watched all, all, of it. all of it. Yeah. Right there, yeah. I thought it was pretty good, man. I don't think you can skip it, can you? Uh, you like the campaign? No, I mean like uh, like skipping like dialogue, stuff like that. Uh, uh, I didn't skip anything. I wish they had <gasps> introduced like more g gameplay mechanics that weren't like just continue the campaign. Like sort of mechanics that you'd have to like learn. Uh, Slager, you gotta turn that thing in right here. Oh, okay, my bad. I thought they can ping. We're just waiting weird. on them. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought, so, um, so. like, it could've used... <gasps> Actually, like, memorable. <gasps> it felt like... I thought the, the mercenaries... campaign was kind of cool. long, and there was really was, only, man, like... It was pretty long. Only really, like, one... Maybe like one other. I thought the boss fight against the. Dude, it was just like okay. Yeah, cause I'm I'm thinking now like, um, potential uber bosses, right? Like, um, mm -hmm. are they gonna yeah. bring yeah, anyone from the that. campaign to be an uber boss? Maybe the ah! fight. I don't know who else. Like, that, that fight was cool. Yeah, uh, I'm not. That fight was cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Like, I'm really itching to get any of those guys as a as an Uber. But some of the fights from the, like the base campaign, I'm still like Astaroth is really cool. I'd like to see him as an Uber boss. It's just felt like a lot more memorable bosses. What do you guys think about the Realm Walkers? I feel like the whole thing is way too slow. <laughs> like, uh, well, I mean, if you're doing it in a party, it'd be quick, right? The faster you kill some people, kill all those monsters. Well, he's still you gotta walks wait really from the slow. summon it though. 
Yeah. Like, uh, I like how they, they, it seems like they thought about it. They're like, okay, you're going to get here early. Let's let the portal summon like a couple mobs here and there. But even still, like the wait for it to start is like, kind of, kind of Yeah, is it a five minutes, five minute timer? Yeah, five minutes. But you can kill like three white mobs in the meantime. I don't know. I guess it's better than waiting for a world boss where there's literally nothing to do, but world boss feels more epic. Do you guys feel like you're going to even do the realm walker? Because for me, like, after you get the old pulse, I don't feel like there's, there's a point of even doing it. It takes like 10 minutes, and there's no, like, special power that you get from it. Uh, I mean, just to complete um, the seasonal thing, I know that, like that seasonal thing, but that's it. Uh, Opal seem like potentially pretty good. Oh, so. yeah, they're great. You get, I think, three from killing it, so you get like an hour and a half, and it takes 10 minutes, but after I have my yeah. Opals, I feel like there's no point of doing it. Like, I'd rather go to the pit and level up. Yeah, but don't you have to keep getting Opals? Oh, you can like, get it yeah. from the season journey, and you can complete the entire season journey without even engaging in the uh, Realm Walker. Yeah, but you're going to run out at some point now. I mean, it seems like opals are kind of just always a nice to have, right? One, they're going to give you experience, so it's like another XP multiplier. And then um, they're also just going to like give you more loot for doing the stuff that you were already doing. So I feel like you should kind of always want to have them running if you can. Oh, yeah, definitely. But I'm saying, like, if I already have an opal, like a bunch of opals, like, I have yeah. no desire to go do that content because it's super oh, no, slow. No. Yeah, you you don't not, get anything yeah. special. It's, it's like, not engaging. No, nah, I mean, I just do it for opals. Yeah. No reason. No reason otherwise. How do you guys feel about the Paragon leveling? Do you guys like it or feel like it's, like, too slow? Right. I like it better than how it was. I'll say that it, okay. it's. It's better than it was, I agree. But I don't I don't like and I'm probably gonna be in the minority here, but I, I wasn't a big fan of like where Diablo three like ended and uh, it kind of feels like it's it's similar to that in the sense that you're really not expected to max out your paragon now. Uh, you kinda have to spend the whole season just like grinding. And if I'm comparing myself to like another character, it's tough because like it becomes not about how like what your gear is. It's how much time have you like literally been able to sit there at your computer and play, mm -hmm. and that's gonna dictate your strength. And I don't, I don't like that as much. And um, isn't that kind of all ARPGs though? <laughs> uh, you can like i feel like you can outsmart um or outplay uh, to an extent in some games in some arpgs at least in diablo 2 that was the case i can make a level 30 character that's going to destroy a level 99 character because i'm better at the game you know and i know how to build a character better but like diablo 3 diablo 4 it's not they're not really designed that way it's just a whole completely different thing and it, that's just me being a d2 andy but um, this is just more in the direction of, um, you know, the more you play, you, you will just get stronger for playing the game, not for playing the game well, you know, just by playing, just for playing the game. And, you know, there's something to be said about that. It's, it's you know, you should be rewarded for playing the game. Like, you shouldn't have to go a whole session and feel like you didn't progress your character at all. But there needs to be an end. Uh, at some point to it and um it needs to be like achievable and realistic and uh, i don't know I put that it one doesn't in. seem it's like 300 left. paragon is, is it's like uh, achievable I mean, it's gonna take a while but i mean like the casual a lot of the casual andes aren't even gonna get there oh not There's even no close way, not even close i don't mind it well, i'm probably not even, like, i'm i'm probably not gonna hit 300 uh, i felt like after 250 it became really hard like and to go in to kind of like go over what you're saying I, I totally agree with you with like 
putting in a lot of time for like 0.1 every single time you go in for glyph it just doesn't feel like exciting it's just like okay you're no, just playing like I, I just you're have putting in the hours <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I literally have to just sit here to get stronger like there's no gg drop that's gonna improve my you know my character anymore or there's nothing i can change in my skill tree that's gonna do it like i i literally just have to sit here and do the same content over and over and over again and that's the only way i'm gonna get stronger and if somebody can sit there longer than me and do that mindless like oh. content more, then they're going to be stronger than me. And I like I don't know. I like to play very efficiently. And like the the sometimes like the repetitive mindless content is just not how I like to spend my time when I play games. And it feels like that's kind of like the player that they're trying to reward in with like this new system. You still, if you want to get strong, you're still going to have to sit there for 200 hours to grind out your Paragon, you know, if you want to be, if you want to be strong or something like that. Like, there's no, there's no, like, getting lucky or anything like that or... No, I get that. I'm just sitting here thinking, like, the, but the Paragon kind of doesn't matter, though. Like, I mean, going from, what, 250, which is realistic, to, like, 300, like, who actually Maybe. Cares? Maybe that doesn't matter, but like getting your glyphs to 100 matters. And yeah, that's that gonna, matter. that's gonna yeah. take a long time. That's they just gonna, nerfed it, but yeah. It's gonna be a grind. You watch the dev chat? They nerfed it more than what we were playing because they nerfed it. Yeah, from they nerfed it. This. Right, they, so it should be this easier to get it to 100 now. Oh, it went from 3 to 5, right? I saw that. Um, for fast clear, or you, you get to uh, advance quicker. I was so like, we have to like in, warp in back. So how do we warp back? Do we just like need to all stand on this like center? I have piece? to. I have to turn, open the gate. The I'm gonna yeah. open the gate and then you gotta go back. Oh, okay. Oh, there. come back in. Okay. Whoever has the thing. I got it. I got it. Got it. There we go. And then so, we, uh, you put it up it, in the center over here, the conduit. Didn't teleport me. Ah, uh, okay. Do we have to all stand on the center to get him to come in? Is that no, how we have to get uh, the fragments from killing the monsters. Yeah, got, ah, okay. If you uh, if he doesn't have the thing, then we're probably up. dead. Yeah, I was standing on it. Oh, okay, we have to kill kill them. Put in the uh, souls. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. And oh, at uh, rip. Yeah, we just got the. Oh, oh, did we, we it. take too long? It was impending doom. Yeah. Uh, okay. Once it fills up, you uh, you just die. There's a little bar that'll show up on your screen. Okay, I see it in the top right. So it's basically like an enrage timer. Yeah. So what did they change about Paragon? Uh, they reduced the multiplicative of legendaries. Oh yeah, they're reducing the multipliers by like a lot. So basically less damage. Yeah, they call this significant nerf to glyphs because mm. they think glyphs are too important. Oh, okay. But then they buffed the Paragon like other like blue and yellow nodes. Yeah, yeah. By like they, tr triple is what they said, I think. Double and triple. Okay. Yeah, it's a weird concept to try to even out the power between all the different things on your characters. Yeah. But I think it's really strange for the design. I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts on it. So, like, they wanted a number scrunch, but then they added all the glyphs to give you, like, plus, like, 300, plus 1,000 crit damage. Yeah, well, it's yeah, yeah. additive stuff that they added, right? So it's... They're, like, trying to scrunch the multiplicatives, it seems. And, uh, and just make your damage mostly additive damage. So, like, all of those, like, those Paragon, or those with, like, um, damage types are all additive damage types. So, in theory, you're not supposed to be able to get as high. <laughs> uh, whether it yeah. plays out that way, let's see. All right, so in order for us to go back, I think someone needs to, to like get, activate the thing. Let me know when you're about to get activate two it. more charges. They're okay. on the ground. Okay, we got them. Nope, not full yet. I think with more people, you have to get more. I don't know, because I'm picking them up. Oh, I think it's like six. Two, two as a four to, as a, as opposed to four people. Yeah. Oh. So should we only have one person go TP in? Uh, I can do it. Okay. And then the other three stay out. Yeah, that probably is a bit the better strategy.
Okay, so kill these guys. Yep. Slay this fine. guy. Pretty much damage. Kill these guys. Pick up the charges. We gotta deposit them in. Okay, that's five. Should be all six. Uh, we gotta bring it to the middle. So uh, one person, one person going. Oh, I'll go. Yep. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> I literally <laughs> teleported me, and, and, and yeah. it killed me right before I teleported. So there's. But you're on the other side, here. though, right? Okay. I'm on the other side, but I can't do anything. So we can't okay, I gotcha. Around. So yeah, we'll we have to collect more. Yeah, and then someone we else gotta, has gotta go in. And resin. Okay. Okay, you going into him? Yeah. Okay, okay. So I think it makes it sense just teleported me have... back. Oh, okay. I got no, oh, that's you guys. Because I guess I was stuck on the portal. <laughs> My dead body. I'll go. Okay. okay. Oh well, I think God. we're teleporting him back, right? Okay, there we go. And then now uh, we get to. I think I'm in a different him. area. And then now we go. can attack the boss. Yeah, now we can attack the boss. Okay, he's pretty low now. And then we just gotta turn in again? Yep. Okay, I just activated some seals. I just fought a boss, grabbed a soul essence. I think I have to bring this back, so I think you guys gotta beat me back now. Yeah, okay. I'll let you know when we're like really close. Okay. So yeah, you have the uh, item, Yeah, I have right? a soul essence. Okay. Activating. Okay. Okay, you're coming back now? Yep. It should be, yeah. Uh, and deposited here. Okay, oh. now we probably kill this guy. Yep. Nice. A couple ancestrals there. There we go. That's the raid, man. All right, guys. So that's going to go ahead and wrap up raid number one. What did you guys think of it? Genuinely kind of curious. For me, I want to say that I wish the rewards were better, but it may scale later down the line with even better stuff. And I'll show you guys the cosmetic that you get for the Tormented 4-1, which is like the rarest thing to get as far as the end game goes that's kind of what you're doing these raids for it's like some sort of special armor and i'll show you guys that later but i want to go and upload all the different raids but again let me know your thoughts down below but if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it. if you're new here hit subscribe turn that bell if you guys want to see more and i will catch you guys on the next video peace out also i'll leave all the other content creators in the link down below but peace out